friends. As you can see, I've got the whole family of shallow raiders here in the new uh, Great Flame pattern. Uh, when do I fish the little one? When do I fish this, this medium size, the seven inch? And when do I fish this giant? I'm gonna essentially concentrate on fishing the big one. But I fish all three of them. I let the fish do the talking. When the fishing's really tough, fish all three of them. I let the fish do the talking. When the fishing's really tough and I can't seem to get a bite, I always go with this one. I always go with the small one. However, if I've got a good bite on big fish, I want this big bait. And why would I want the big bait? One of the one of the great things about fishing a big lure is you uh, you not only attract big uh, the big fish in the system and get a big bite, but the other thing was with the big bait is you kind of discourage everything else. And uh, that's kind of nice when you're, especially when you're uh, fishing there, you just got uh, lots of other fish, pike and bass in, in particular. Um, pike, you know, want to hit everything. You fish this lure around an area that's got a lot of pike, you're going to be taking pike off non-stop, okay? And even a 7-inch, uh, by comparison, that's, that's a good all-day bait, good all-around bait to throw. Um, you know, if, if you can't figure out, it can't, you can't just come to grips with what lure size you should use, just snap this on and you're to be just fine. However, there are great advantages to the big slab, they call them slabs, big slab middle baits. This is our big Magnum Shallow Raider, which is anywhere from, it's, it's just shy of 10 inches, it's nine and a half inches. And you can see it's, it's it packs a punch, it's a big bait. Now when I fish this bait, by the way, I fish it off of a different rod than I would, for example, going all the way down to this lure. This lure I fish off of a small, a lightweight um, St. Croix uh, Legend Tournament Twitch Stick, their 710 Twitch Stick. It's, it's essentially a, a medium, medium fast you know it's 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 like a big bass rod that will not cut it with this bait this bait you need to fish on a, on a big rod on the big this rod i'm fishing here an 86 heavy fast eight foot six heavy action fast and 80 pound braid you know classic traditional musky gear i fished the 86 an eight foot six rod for this style of fishing with a with a middle bait because figure eight is so important and the way I fish this lure more than anything else is I use what I call a hybrid technique it is a jerk bait on the first 30 percent of the cast and the middle of the cast it's I, I go back and forth between a jerk bait and a crank bait and then the final 30 percent of my cast it's a 100 percent of crank bait and I do a, a really aggressive figure eight with it so that I, I'm in the crank bait mode uh, when I get, go into the figure eight, which seems to really kick up the figure eight strikes and follows at both sides. Uh, there's a lot of guys that have success just jerking these lures all the way to the boat and doing what they call a dead stick technique, letting it rise and twitching it, letting it rise, and they get fish doing that. But they don't catch more fish than I do doing it this way. Okay, so again, three prong technique. First 30%, it's a jerk bait. Okay. And the, the second or the middle part of the retrieve, I kind of mix it up and I speed it up, especially once I'm out of cover. And then, you know, the last part of my retrieve, I always just cr straight crank it and go into a figure eight. And what I want, want you to pay attention to here too, is that in that first 30%, okay, I want to keep it there as long as I can, um, because that's where I think the fish is most likely to be. I'm thrown against rock walls, for example. This bait is deadly along rock walls. A big, uh, at the edge of big weed patches, over top of uh, sunken rock crevices, sunken weed beds. This bait can't be beat over that kind of stuff. And what it, it sometimes beats uh, even traditional jerk baits or anything else because you can grind it down and let it hit things and then let it come back up. So you get kind of a jerk bait, rise, jerk bait, rise, kind of a retrieve. And um, But at the same time, you can leave it hang and cover as long as you want to. You know, as long as you as long as you can stand it and a lot of times that's what it takes to make to trigger those fish on these kind of lures and don't be surprised if the bait rises all the way to the surface and you'll have a fish whack it right off the top the biggest muskie i've caught on on a magnum shallow reader i caught it exactly that way